the three rebel groups held two days of talks in London with a U.S. mediator. Now, the Oromo group is saying those talks have not produced much. The talks were preempted on the ground by military developments. What is disturbing to us is the position of the United States government, which did not seem to us fair. He criticized the U.S. invitation to the EPRDF to enter Addis Ababa and take control. That, the Oromo group claims, ended the discussions before they even began. That, ended. that is how uh, many of the peoples who are today fighting against the Ethiopian regime were incorporated through uh, army conquest. Through this army conquest, my people, the Oromo people, along with the Somali, the Walaita, the Hadiya Kambata, were included into the Ethiopian uh, Empire State, and they lived uh, for now close to a century in a situation of colony as uh, second-class citizens. Uh, the struggle is to regain what they lost through army conquest. That is Johannes Latta, who is a representative of the Oromo Liberation Front, one of the three organizations, the main organizations participating in the ongoing civil war, so to speak, in Ethiopia. The other two being the Tigray People's Liberation Front and the third, the Eritrean People's Liberation Front.